Hello everyone, my name is Alberto, welcome back to my channel. In this video I wanted to show you how I made some dish towels with my rigid huddle loom. I didn't film the warping itself because I had it filmed already in different videos, but I tried this um, yarn which was a different cotton, I never tried it before, it was a 8-4 cotton and it's slightly thicker than uh, an 8 2 because I wanted something that would also work a, a bit faster because uh, I wanted to make quite a bit um, of dish towels to sort of do some small gifts. Uh, I did the usual salvage edge with some scrap cotton yarn in uh, this case since you'll see we're gonna uh, hem every piece and separate them uh, there's no uh, sort of edge stitching again it's just a simple simple uh, salvage and then we'll machine stitch everything so uh, again I didn't really film the whole weaving process because I, I just sort of made it up as I went there was no sort of pattern I followed I just used these two colors and alternated them in sort of these random strips. So they're all different widths and um, I thought the effect was quite cool. Very simple, very sort of rustic between the uh, ecru and the sort of dusty blue. So this is the end of the project, uh, we skipped ahead quite a while. It took a bit but I warped a very long warp uh, I already did my salvage so you can see I did weave quite a bit so this is how it turned out you can see all the different size stripes I think it looks quite nice in the end and it you could measure every single uh, towel you want to make but due to the shrinkage and everything, I prefer to do just a long strip. So, to be extra safe, before washing it, I took it down from the loom. I'm just going to stitch with the, my double needle machine on the salvage, so on the extra yarn. So, I'm going to save my actual fabric. I'm going to try to waste the least amount of fabric possible. So I'm just gonna sew on top of it, just to block it in place. Then, uh, since I left all of the fringe, I'm gonna need to get rid of it, because this is all gonna be machine washed with a quite a harsh cycle. One, because it's cotton. Two, because I uh, think it's better to just use from the start the the way of washing you're gonna use for the life of the actual piece of cloth you're making. Uh, here I'm just overlocking the edge mostly to just cut away the threads um, but also it offers an extra protection. I was very worried after I it took me so long to weave. I wanted to be extra 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 safe. So I'm just overlocking the edges because these uh, sort of long, wispy ends, all that fringe, uh, you could leave it, but it, it's an extra, since there's no any sort of edge stitching, I was afraid that it might like snag onto something in the washing machine or twist and pull, uh, and it, it wouldn't be good. So I'm just getting rid of everything, and then I'm going to do my third step, because as I said, I wanted to be super extra safe. So then I moved on to my regular sewing machine and just basically took the first um, seam I did with the double needle, folded it in half on itself. So again, I'm not still not touching the actual fabric, still all salvage. Just fold it in half and with an extra seam with a very sort of small stitch so it would hold as much as possible and that's it really so basically I'm doing all of this 
when I'm done with all the seams, since I have uh, the, all my joints uh, left in, I'm gonna go through all the length of the fabric and cut them. Not exactly flush, I leave a little bit, sort of like a, a centimeter, just because during the wash it's gonna shrink and move. Uh, so I don't want to leave it long, because again I don't want it to tangle, but that way I think it has some extra space to sort of adjust. Uh, and I left them all on the same side, just because it that makes it easier. So here's how it looks, you can see there's still a little bits, but they'll go away in the washing. That's how it looks. Now I'm gonna wash it at uh, 60 degrees in the washing machine uh, Celsius, of course, and then chuck it in the dryer. So this will make it fluffy and nice, hopefully. Once that is done, we will come the time to cut it. As you can see, it did shrink quite a bit. The color changed because it's cl it closed up. So you can um, measure and sort of establish the length you want. In my case, it, the, the stripes I made came quite useful because I can just sort of follow them along in order to get a straight line. So I'm just sewing on normal, simple, straight stitch. Very tiny, though. Uh, all along, and I'm gonna do a parallel one as close as possible again, because we still don't want to waste fabric. So I did one at basically 0 0.5 centimeter. And once that's done, I'm just gonna cut between the two seams and that will separate my first towel. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing on all of them. Um, this time I have a towel to use as sort of a guide in order to get the same exact measure. Or if you need this for different measures, of course, you, you'll measure again and decide uh, where to separate them. So once that's done, we're gonna do all the other ones. Um, in my case, I came up with six. Uh, but mine were sort of not not very long. Um, you could get more or less depending obviously on the length of your warp. Uh, there are ways to separate them on the loom, uh, but I think this is the easiest possible way because I'm gonna hem them anyway uh, since they're, they need to go under a lot of stress because they're dish towels, uh, they'll be washed quite harshly. I think there's, it's just easier this way, um, unless you have a specific pattern to follow. So as you can see, I'm using the one I just cut as sort of a guide and then basically doing all of them the same exact way. Once that's done, um, it's time to hem them. Depending on the fabric you Got, uh, you might want to press them in place. Uh, my cotton was quite well behaved, let's say. So I just fold it in half, uh, fold it double. So fold it and fold it again. Uh, you could stitch it in between, but as I said, mine stayed in place quite well. So I basically folded 0.5 and 0.5 again in order to completely close it and then just edge stitch it along the way. And that basically did it, uh, especially because if you use the same color thread as your yarn, it becomes basically invisible. And especially on a cotton that's tight knit, tight um, woven, <laughs> sorry. So yeah, I'm just gonna stitch all along the edge. And then uh, instead of stopping, what I'll do is just turn around, so do the little edge, and then stitch all the way back 
along the other edge of the fabric. That way we have two seams parallel and very close together on the hem and that will make it quite a tough, um, sort of very flat little hem, which I think looks nice and works great because again, it's also a, a, a tight seam, very tiny stitch that, so that will hold very well in place and then you go all around and that's it. So this is the thing we'll have to do all along every single towel. This takes a while, but that's it. If you have some little wispiness left from your joins, uh, you can just cut it flush. Um, after the wash, it might happen. Um, but as I said, I prefer to leave them a little extra wiggle room instead of cutting them flush from the beginning just makes me feel a bit less anxious about the result and yeah so that's it basically we'll do this for all the other ones and then you can press them and roll them up fold them as you prefer i think they came out looking quite nice so i'm pretty happy with it hope you liked it and the video was useful for you if you did please leave a like a comment, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.